Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use Google Gmail's API to send an email in Python. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have used uh, Gmail before and Gmail is probably the biggest uh, email provider these days. Uh, so here I'm on the Gmail documentation and I'll link the uh, link in the description below. So basically in this video, I'm going to teach you how to send an email using uh, Gmail API. Before we can start using the Gmail API service, we need to enable the API first. So what you want to do is want to go to your Google Cloud platform and the address is uh, console.cloud.google.com and want to choose the project that you want to use. And I'm using my Google Cloud demo project and select the project. I want to go to navigation menu and under APIs and services, you want to go to library. And under search for API service in a field, you want to search for Gmail API and click on Gmail API service. And make sure the API service is enabled. Let me go back to the cloud platform dashboard. And the other thing you need is the client file or your API key. And that's basically everything we need. All right, so open a new Python script. And I create a utility module called google.py. And here's the, uh, the script. And you can access the source code in the description below. For my Google module, I want to import the create service function. And the create service function is a function I wrote to simplify the uh, API service instance creation. And there are a couple of libraries that we need to import. We need to import the base64 library. And from email.my-multi-parts module, I want to import the my-multi-parts class. I think this is class, uh, I'm not 100% sure. I also need to uh, import the, from the email.my.text module. I also need to import the my text class. And unfortunately, I don't think Google does a really good job uh, drafting or creating the documentation for the Gmail API. If we go to the guys uh, session, in here, uh, they provide you with a couple examples. Uh, I went to a couple of them and I found the documentation to be a bit outdated. So for example, if you go to Python quick starts, in here, they walk you to the steps, how to turn the Gmail API, how to install the Google client library, as well as giving an example. But this example, for some reason, uh, just doesn't work for me. And here, let me, let me scroll down. Yeah, so if you look to the example, it's not very clear uh, uh, how this uh, script is doing. So to send an email, uh, let me go to references page. To send an email using the Gmail API, want to use user.messages uh, resource. And within this resource, we want to use the same method. And a couple of things to consider uh, when you send an email. Uh, the maximum file size is 35 megabytes, meaning that if you send an email with an attachment, uh, all the attachment size cannot accumulate over 35 megabytes. And these are the uh, my data type that the uh, message.sends method uh, will accept. And below is the parameters. So I'll be mainly using the user ID parameter. And for the scope, I'll use the uh, mail.google.com scope, which gives me uh, full permission to uh, using my Gmail account. So we need to provide the route string, and which is going to be bytes data type. And the ID is optional. And below is uh, just an example. I can try to follow to this example. I found this example to be a little bit more uh, difficult to follow for beginners. 
And I'm actually going to break down all the steps so that way it's easier to grasp how to use the uh, send method. And I'll be using OR 2.0 to authenticate my uh, credential. All right, so here's my, uh, let me make the font uh, a little bit bigger. So here's my client secret file, which is my client file. And in my Python script, I'm going to create a couple of variables to store my variable values. The first one will be client secret file. And this is going to be my client secret file path. And the API name is going to be Gmail. And for the version, uh, Gmail is still, Gmail API is still on version one. And hopefully uh, at one point, Google will move on to version two. So the scope name is going to be mail google.com and it's going to be a list now i'm going to create my gmail api service instance that was my create service function and my first parameter is client secret file api name api version and scopes. And here, let me go back to my folder. I'm going to delete my token uh, file. Now, if I run the highlighted code, and it's going to launch the uh, authentication page, and it's going to ask me to choose my account that I want to use. And I'm going to use my, let's see, I want to send an email to my data dummy account at gmail.com. So I'll choose my learn data analysis account and click on events to ignore the page. They want to click on this link at the bottom. Now, based on the scope that you provide, uh, Gmail API is going to ask you to grant the permission. I'm going to just uh, say yes to all of them. Oh, and here, Scope is, oh, so here I forgot the four dash. All right, let me fix that and let me try again. So I'll run just the highlighted uh, code. All right, so once you are authenticated, you should see this message. The authentication flow has complete. You must close the window. Now I'm going to close this window. Now if I print the attributes and methods of the service instance, you should see the user's uh, method is not available. The next item on the agenda is we need to create a message to provide to our email uh, template or email body. And it's going to be email message. I'm going to type, you won $100,000. And it's going to be our message in the uh, email body template. Oh, and here I forgot to create my, uh, my multi-parts instance. And I'll name this object, my message is equals to my multi parts. And I'll move the email message variable to the top. Once I create my, my multi part uh, instance, I can uh, assign the subject and the uh, recipients uh, inside the my message object. So we need to provide the recipient's email. So we use the reference to. I'm going to send this email to my data dummy account at gmail.com. And for the subject, we want to use the subject reference. For the subject, I'm going to just say you want 
and to attach the uh, message to the email template want to issue want to uh, insert my message object dot attach and want to insert the my text class and want to insert the message in this case would be my email message variable followed by the email uh, body type so this can be plain or HTML I'm going to uh, use plain text and once that's done we need to convert everything to raw string and we insert the base64 library dot URL oops dot URL save underscore b64 inco inside the b64 inco method want to provide the my message object and want to convert this as bytes dot decode and this uh, block is going to be our email message. Now you can send an email to uh, data.dummy account at gmail.com. So here I'll insert a service instance that users that messages that sent. And for the user ID, we can use the special word uh, me, which reference to the authenticate user. And also we need to provide our body and it's going to be a raw string so we need to insert dictionary and we'll provide the raw string uh, object and lastly we need to execute the statement to send the email and i'm also going to print the message object All right so here let me terminate the session i'm going to launch my uh, email account so this is the email that i sent previously and All right now if I uh, run the script, no email, so I have a typo, so, oh, okay. So this should be email, and try again. If I press F5 to run the script, and cannot email, let me check. Oh, so here's a typo, I think. So my multi parts. Not input name. Well, I think those are the typos. Uh, let me try again. And multi is not defined. So let me run. So let me import the libraries manually. And if I run the select block. Oh, okay. So here, let me. So here's my mistake. So this should be close parenthesis and dot decode. Now let me terminate the session and hopefully this is the last uh, mistake. All right, so here uh, I'm getting a response. So this is the, uh, the email ID and this is the email thread ID followed by the label ID and same meaning that uh, this email from the authenticate users uh, is saved to the send folder and if i go back to my gmail account and here's the email you want one hundred thousand dollars and followed by the uh, email subject you want so the same thing i want to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful and you can also find the source code uh, in the link in the description below and as always send you guys for watching I'll see you guys on the next video.